Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. Um, today we're doing something different. Today I'm going to make a vision board. Ta-da! So I'm going to take you guys on my journey to make this vision board and hopefully almost 90, at least 90% of the things that I put this on this board um, would come real. I would be very happy. Some of this stuff went in my eye. This is dusty. Um, I found this thing on Facebook Market because um, we're in the pandemic and like you can't really buy anything in the stores. You have to do like online shopping and I didn't want to do that and this was like really close to where I work so I picked it up. I was like why not let's print a bunch of stuff that I always wanted and um, let's see. Alright let's get started with some real estate and um, I'm going to be honest with myself, I don't think I'll ever live in LA or something, I'll probably just stay in Toronto. Um, I really love Canada, I, I really don't see myself living anywhere else, I'd probably go for vacations and probably come back here. So Canada is my true home, even back in Iran is not my home like anymore. I was recently there and I was very uncomfortable with everything, so I was like, ugh, Canada is my home now. Not that I, not that is anything bad, I love Canada. So. We're probably going to stay in Canada. So let's look up some real estate. Why is my cap on? Real estate. Uh, to real estate. Toronto. Luxury. Let's do bridal path. If you live in Toronto and you don't know where bridal path is, it's a crazy, crazy like expensive homes you, you're gonna see now um i know barry cohen homes like you see homes like this all the time and oh god like they are sexy oh so um let's see what's on the market now and um yeah so um one time guys um i think i still have the book somewhere i'll post a picture on my instagram um, I posted a picture, uh, sorry, no, so one time I, I got this book and, um, I wrote down three things that I was saving my money for, so I did a little bit of a bar of, like, how much money I'm gonna save towards this, and I, um, I just put a Tesla down, I didn't write any, any type of Tesla, I just wrote a Tesla, and then two other things that weren't very expensive, and I just put them down and I was like, you know what, I'm going to save my money towards these. And I think one of them was like a new iPhone or something. And just Tesla was one of them. And a um, few years back, a few years later, a few years back now, um, I actually did buy a Tesla Model 3. And I didn't even remember about that book that I wrote. And one day I was clearing out my closet. I was like, oh, this looks like a diary. I, I don't remember what I put in here. And I opened up the first page was a Tesla. And I was crazy. I was like, oh my god, it actually worked. It actually works. And yeah, so whatever you whatever you think about, you may want, you you're probably gonna get it. So this is not bad. 20 million. How many bedrooms? Four bedroom, eight bathroom. Ooh, I like this. Oh, nice. See, this is more like me. That's what we're talking about. Oh my god. I don't love the chair, but oh my god. Yes, this is the home. Oh my god, look at that walk-in closet. <gasps> walk-in closet? That was a closet. This is the master bedroom, I think. That's fucked up. Oh, look at the master bathroom. Look, look, wouldn't you want to like just... Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. <gasps> this is it. This is it, baby. Alright, so now that we have some... State, real estate. Let's go. So this was 20 million. This house is 20 million. Um, seven garage spaces. 
So, what do you guys say about we look at some cars now? Hmm? So, we'll start with my uh, one of my favorites. And um, because I own a Tesla, I would have to have this car. Like, I would have to have this car. So, but yet, it's not available to per. You can purchase it, but you never know when you're going to get it. So, we're going to go in with a Tesla Roadster. Yes, you heard me. We're going to do a Tesla Roadster. Tesla Roadster. <gasps> Pictures. <gasps> yes, they look so cute. OMG. And it's a convertible. If you know me, you know how much I love a convertible car. And Tesla Roadster is like the only car that I would ever like literally sell everything for. Well, no, but like this is the max for me. Like even a Rolls Royce wouldn't make me this happy like as much as the Tesla Roadster does. So we're gonna save this baby up. So definitely a Tesla Roadster. I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be really picky about the colors because the colors are going to come and go. So whatever, like I'm going to change my mind about colors later. So we definitely have a Tesla Roadster. So my second favorite car is actually a Mercedes G-Wagon. And I don't know, a wagon, sorry. I don't know if it's because I date a Russian guy or is... I don't, I don't know why I really love this car, even my boyfriend really doesn't like the, like this car, but I, there's something about it, I love it, it's, and it's not about the Kardashians and all the models having it, it's just a really sexy car, it honestly is to me, <gasps> when I see one on the street, I literally like go crazy, I cannot like control my actions like i was like <gasps> look there's a g-wagon and this is literally me in cars if i see it so i always wanted a completely black matte black g-wagon and this one kind of looks good so we're gonna save this picture all right baby tell me more cars you want we have a we have a roadster we have a g-wagon hmm you need more Let's do a Lambo. How about a Honda Accord? Beba. <laughs> do you want to do Lambo um, Aventador or like Lambo uh, SUV? No, Lambo Aventador, like SUV, nah. But I mean, if I have a Roadster, I wouldn't want a Lambo. I don't want a Lambo. Do I want a Lambo? It's better than a Lambo. Roadster is better than a Lambo. So what car? What yeah, other? Roadster, you want a Lambo? You're getting a Lambo just to get a Lambo. Yeah, I mean it's just the Lambo for the Lambo sake of it. Okay. So we have a we have a Lambo. We have seven parking spots. Do you want me to leave a few for you, or do you want me to fill it all with my cars? All right. Only wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that. We're, we're not going to be sharing any. What? I, we are. I'm just saying, do you want to have a few just for your own cars? Sure, yeah. Alright, so we're going to leave the cars for now. Um, let's look into some more traveling um, things that I could have. Maybe a yacht. Why not? Huh? It's not costing me anything. I could have a yacht if I want to. I want to. There's a song. I forgot what it said, but it's like, I want to. Uh, uh. Can I have a yacht. We're gonna have parties on it. If you, my friend, you know that we're definitely gonna have a yacht at some point. We're gonna. I need to have a yacht party in my lifetime, otherwise I have failed miserably. Like, failed. Just saying. 
Okay, yacht party. Maybe I just don't want a yacht. I just want a yacht party. Maybe my 30th birthday. Let's, let's do that. So let's do a 30th birthday yacht party. I'm down. This is a good picture. It has a picture of a yacht. It has a picture of a party going on. Yes. Yacht party, Shaquille's 30th birthday. Save image. Inshallah. 30th birthday yacht party. Okay. What else? Private plane. <laughs> Private plane to my yacht party. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Why not, baby? Why not? Why not? If you're gonna live large, might as well live large. <laughs> By the way, good luck. I would definitely do some donations. I would definitely, like, you know, um, just, you know, adopt kids before I can do all, all of this. Like, don't worry about it. Don't be like, you're too, you're too greedy. I'm not. This is just for me to put on my vision board. So maybe it would happen one day. Right? This is a cute picture. Oh, no, it's a Kylie thing. I don't want. No, thank you. Private plane. Private plane. Maybe just inside of it. Mm-hmm. Mm, this is good. This is a good private plane picture. I don't hate it. But I always want a Doberman as a dog. And a Dobermans are the only dogs that connect to my soul for some reason. So I'm going to put a picture of Doberman in there. It's my favorite dog breed to have. I can't afford one right now. I don't have this space for it right now. So I'm just not going to get it right now. It would be very, very full of me to get it. <gasps> this picture is so cute! Okay, you're going in there. <gasps> yes, you are. Yes, you are! And then I know what to name him. I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but as you, I know I already know his name. Doby, uh, just put Doby for now. And two Dobermans. Two Dobermans is good, I think. A woman, a, a male and a female, I think, and if I have that $20 million mansion, I can afford to have Doberman babies too. You know what? I'll give the babies to my, the puppies to my friends and stuff, so not a bad, uh, it's not, not a bad thing. So we have house, we have cars, we have Doberman, we have Yah, we have private plane. What are we, what are we missing, baby? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Let's go into some fashion now. What do you guys say? I think some Birkins might have to make it in there. Um, this is one of the things I always say I want to buy, but I, I know I probably won't buy it because it's uh, it's made with real crocodile skin. I think. Um, it's just, I don't know, I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to do something better, but, yeah. Um, hmm. Let's do this one. The blue one doesn't look that bad, we can save it. And then, uh, maybe a, another color. Yeah, Birkin bags are so expensive. They're really, really expensive. Um, I don't know, like, I don't, I really don't know the reason that why they're expensive. I know they're made, their material is like, is crazy. I think they're made with crocodile, but like, I, I know they use like real leather and stuff. That's why I kind of don't like it all that much i don't like harming animals but we'll just put a picture of it just just so you know maybe i'm not gonna get a crocodile one but we'll get we'll get it broken at some point right right girls all right so let's look at some diamond jewelry now 
Diamond ring. Let's see what we get. Um, I always tell my boyfriend, like, I don't need you to buy me something super expensive because I always be able to afford it myself. So let's look at some, like, expensive diamonds because I don't mind having diamonds. Okay, yellow diamonds. I know those are really, really expensive. But it's not just about being expensive, you know. It's about just having it. Why not? Why not? Let's see. What else do I wish to have? Let's do a diamond watch. I don't mind having a diamond watch per se. 51 diamond watches. No. <laughs> wish I had a diamond watch. Okay. No. Thank you. Classy though. Hey, this is not so bad. I'll just put it in, you know. We'll just put it in for the fa for the sake of having a diamond watch. I have a business now. If you guys haven't heard of my business, it's called Portal Team. We are an international um, snack uh, company. So I currently right now only have Persian snack boxes and um, I import them with a private company to Canada and I box them and I give them into like these massive boxes um, so it's one like this it's massive boxes and they're full of like jewelry uh, they're full of um, food and stuff you guys have you guys can have so um, I want that uh, to grow so I'm gonna look for some headquarters pictures and I want to have like my logo on it so I think this looks like a good headquarter picture and I can just slap my logo at the, the front of it and make it look so super cute so um, yeah so we're gonna do portal theme headquarters why not guys huh what else do I really want um helicopter is more of your type of thing yeah but if I'm getting around the town in a car you can put it in your vision board okay what else do I want Let's do some destination. I, I really want to go to Dubai. Dubai is one of the places I've always wanted to go. So I'm going to put a picture of Dubai in there. And um, where else? Where else? I really want to go to... Hey, what was that place called? Maldives. I want to go to Maldives. Ooh, Maldives is beautiful. I want to go to Maldives so bad, but apparently it's really, really expensive. Like, you just can't, like, not, you know. It's really expensive. It's not cheap. Like it's minimum like twenty thousand dollars for you to go. Um, so it's like for like two people to like for a week. I think it's like twenty thousand dollars is really really expensive. Um, yeah, Maldives is one of the places I really really want to go. That was a cute picture of a guy holding like breakfast boat in the water or pool I think that looks like but that looks amazing look at that oh I want to stay in one of those but I more want to stay in like the ones where there's like trees and like actual beaches around I think that's more of my style Paris is like it's a very cliche but I kind of want to see it 
So why not Paris? Huh? Paris would be a really good trip. France, Italy, mixture of it would be good. I'm gonna put this picture on. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I want some boob jobs, so I'm just gonna put a picture of a very hefty cleavage on. <laughs> I don't think that's bad. Oh, I kind of. Yeah. What are you seeing it? <laughs> I think this is a good picture. I can't show you guys the entire screen because I'm probably gonna get monetized. Like I'm not gonna get monetized if I do. It'll just we're just gonna save a picture of like these massive titties. I don't know if I can even say titties. Probably can. I want to have like a penthouse uh penthouse floor like an entire floor of a building to myself because one time i was there i was like i was at a meeting and they had the entire floor um to themselves and i was like <gasps> like you can play soccer in here if you wanted to so like I want but I don't know like what to look for penthouse penthouse floor I guess penthouse like an entire floor kind of thing with like a pool outside of it and it's like all mine like nobody would be able to use a pool like not entire not not the entire building to use it if you know what i mean and that would be the type of house i would have like in la like i would never live there but like maybe i would go for the winter in canada because winter is canada's winter is like uh see this is this is a nice penthouse it's just a floor plan of it. Let's hope there's some pictures of it. Pictures of it. Oh, this is cute. Okay. So this is just a picture of the pen penthouse. Um, trophy penthouse. Penthouse um, pool. And then we'll just put a picture of the penthouse itself. Somewhere Florida maybe. LA so guys I printed a bunch of them um, I don't think you guys heard the few last one that I added I don't know something happened to my camera so I'm just gonna cut these up quickly
product. Um, I added a few things that you haven't seen yet. So like, I really want a butt like this. I really do. Like a fit, like a round butt. Um, I also made, um, I copied PewDiePie's um, subscribers. So 110 million subscribers, hopefully one day. Um, these are Maldives, these are my Birkins. Um, what else did I add? Oh, I added a million dollar check. Um, that would be given, I mean, with everything in this uh, board, everything would be given. Um, like a million dollar would be nothing, but they still, you know, would be nice to have it. Um, this is my uh, sweet tequila. Oh, I added years on them um, because uh, I really think that like when you try to put like a timeline it really comes true um, you guys are not going to believe this but when I was in college I found this receptionist job um, it was at a very nice place but I never like I didn't want to be a receptionist for the rest of my life so I thought realistically I was like I'm going to be in college for three years and um, my licensing is going to take about six months and then I'm going to give myself two months back to, to bounce back, you know, and um, find a better job. And it was so weird on my calendar and my phone, I put all my shifts because I would have shifts like, for example, every Monday or every Friday. And um, so I would put it on my calendar so I knew, because I worked at like three different places, so I knew which days I work where. And um, it was so weird. Uh, I, you know, when you put like a repeat thing on your calendar, it asks you until when uh, you want it to stop. So I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, so realistically, I gave myself three months and three years and eight months. And, um, it was so weird like still thinking about it i get goosebumps the last day that i worked there was the last day on my calendar and i didn't even realize it after i gave my two weeks notice and i already found a better job uh, which is my current job right now at a lab um you guys have no idea how serious this was for me how eye-opening this was for me um, getting to like this was so serious like I wanted this and I thought realistically about it and this is exactly what happened and I just found out after that oh I put this down one day so um, I don't think this is stupid I don't think this is a waste of time if anything it was a little bit of craftsmanship for me I don't mind a little craft here and there it was just you know an eye opener that this is what my life looks like or at least this is what I want my life to look like so um we'll see we'll see if we get any of these off of this uh board I'll be happy I mean even if one I'll be super happy one by one why not let's do it I'm ready you guys should be ready um uh, let me know what you guys um uh, would you, if you have a vision board, send me a picture of your vision board, or if we're, um, if we share anything here, I don't know, maybe you want the same Lambo, or you want a Roadster, or you want a G-Wagon, or, I don't know, um, I don't want to be criticized to see that, like, this is all Instagram or models have this, like, no, this is honestly what I always wanted, so even if there was no Instagram at all, I would see these stuff and I would be like, oh, I want it because I've always felt like this even when I was a kid and we were watching movies and or we were watching like I would see it in a magazine or something. This this would be what I wanted. So, um, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you believe in sending good enforcement and believing and it will happen. Um, if you guys don't think this is real and this could happen i highly recommend you to watch at least this one documentary i know there's a lot of good documentaries out there i don't remember the name of them but the first one i ever saw was called the secret and i watched it on netflix my boyfriend's mom actually showed me this video and it really changed my mind and opened my mind about 
how to live my life and how to um, how to basically think and feel in order to get everything like sometimes I just wake up in the morning and I just don't have any feelings and I go tell my boyfriend like I'm gonna hear some good news today and by the end of the day I normally hear some good news like I don't do that every day because I don't want the special tea of it to go away but yeah there are days that I that I hear a lot of good news and those most of those days are the days that I told my boyfriend I'm gonna get some good news today um again guys let me know what you think let me know if I should add anything I'm pretty happy with what it is um yeah I'll see you guys on my next video bye